You guys all knew this video was coming. I wanted to do the ultimate comparison video comparing Thailand versus Colombia. I'm going to be going through a bunch of categories and they're going to be timestamps. So I obviously know Colombia much, much more. When it comes to a lot of the surface level stuff, I think it's very easy to compare. But when it comes to dating, dealing with the people, because I don't know Thai and I haven't been dating Thai women, I can only talk about what I've heard talking to the other digital nomads who have lived here. So the first thing I want to talk about is the people. I think with this there is no clear winner because they are both good and bad for different reasons i would say colombian people are generally a little more friendly a little more welcoming but the only downside is that you can't be sure of their intentions especially in the big cities like bogota cali and medellin yes they are friendly the foreigners but a lot of times colombians will look at foreigners as an opportunity to try to get money or business out of them in colombia it seems that 60 percent of the people are really good awesome people super honest but 40 percent of the people are are actually out to get you and i would say the people are just more free in colombia right like they dance they sing they'll do that on the street when there's a party people will be on the street like drinking and actually partying with the neighborhood and these are just things that you won't really find in thailand where thai people are a little more to themselves thai people are all around really kind and friendly people but you're gonna notice that most of the time they just kind of mind their own business and that's something that i'm more used to because being an asian that's kind of how we are there are a lot of scams in the tourist areas pattaya bangkok phuket thai people in general are more honest with some bad apples whereas in Colombia you always have to be on guard because the population of people especially a lot of Venezuelans who have come into the country who are looking to commit crime and do bad things is really really high if I were to say which one is better I would actually kind of say it's a tie depending on what you want so let's talk about style I would say in this regard Colombia wins especially in the Paisa regions or the Costeña regions people care about dressing up in style a lot in the Paisa regions they all kind of have the same uniform t-shirt crop top jeans or shorts and sneakers and the men will just wear a t-shirt jeans and sneakers for the most part colombians always try to look presentable when they leave the house whereas in thailand people don't care as much because the women they could be beautiful but you just never know because they're always just wearing t-shirts and sweats all over there are some women that dress up but it seems to be the minority whereas in colombia everybody dresses up because women want to look good colombia definitely wins if you guys are interested in setting up a consultation with me or if you guys are looking for help when it comes to buying real estate in Colombia, if you want a visa lawyer, a business lawyer, anything that you need, hit me up on WhatsApp or DM me on Instagram. I also have a moving to Colombia course. If you guys are looking to start a new life in Colombia in any city, whether it's Barranquilla, Santa Marta, the coffee region, Bogota, Medellin, Cali, I give a detailed breakdown of all the cities and everything that you need to know starting from when you touch down into the country to help you build your new life. If you guys are interested in that, I'll leave the details in the description and the pinned comment along with a $100 off discount code that you guys can use. So let's talk about culture. I think the winner is Thailand, but I do miss a lot of aspects of Colombia culture so i would say asia in general is a service-based culture we're very respectful to other people very respectful to our elders it's an honor for us to serve other people and bow and let people pass i would also say that asia in general is extremely safe if you compared asia in general to latin america it's a night and day difference we are generally less social and we usually just mind our own businesses and keep to ourselves. A big difference is that in Asia, we enjoy smoking cigarettes here. So you're gonna smell cigarette smoke everywhere. And we see our family far less, right? In Latin culture, the family, they're always hanging out. They're always together. You know, they're always talking almost every single day. Whereas in Asian culture, we just see our family maybe once every month. Even though Thai culture is very music oriented with a lot of live music everywhere, it's very rare to see people dancing. Whereas Colombia is a much freer and more open culture. People are very, very friendly. You get to know all of your neighbors. They're welcoming. They'll invite you into their homes. Something to keep in mind is that Colombians are notorious gossipers. They will be very friendly and they'll ask you a lot about yourself, but they're very judgmental and they'll be all up in your business. Especially if you're dating a Colombian, the family is very involved. Obviously, this is just like a general statement. You know, there are exceptions to the rule, but in general, this is pretty much how it is. Colombians are very, very social, especially compared to Thai people. Expect everything to be a party, to be out there talking. You're going to be dancing with a bunch of people. Latin people are just super close to their family. And I appreciate those family values. It was just very different for me. And it, it was a little overwhelming at times. People in Colombia also love to dance, whether it's reggaeton or bachata or salsa. You're going to hear music everywhere. People are playing loud music all the time. And it's very common to see people on the streets just bust out singing or dancing. Like people 
in Colombia just know how to have a good time. And I would say that Colombians are just more passionate, but this is a good and bad thing. Asians were more kind of in the middle. We're pretty indifferent about things. So we're not super extremely social or emotional, but we can be cold at sometimes. Whereas in Colombia, you get people who are extremely friendly, extremely nice. When shit hits the fan, you're going to get people who get extremely aggressive, fights break out all the time. And especially because in Colombia, they kind of have an alcohol problem. As soon as drinking gets involved, it can turn into a shit show and people start fighting and it can get violent. So as far as culture goes, I personally would give it to Thailand because for me, it's more normal, but I can understand why people would like Colombian culture as well. Okay, so let's talk about safety. It's a night and day thing. Thailand wins hands down. I like to say that Thailand is a safe country with some parts that are unsafe, whereas Colombia is an unsafe country where some parts are more safe than others. Where I was living in Colombia in Manizales, it was one of the safest cities in Colombia. But even there, you couldn't be 100% at peace because I've known a lot of people that have gotten robbed there, even though it was a lot less common. Whereas here in Thailand, especially Chiang Mai, it's like the safest city in Thailand. I don't even think about getting robbed or violent crime or anything because it just doesn't happen here at all. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being super dangerous, I would say Thailand for the most part is like a 1.5 to a two. Maybe some places are a three. Whereas in Colombia, it's like a four to a nine, depending on the city, but it's still not complete peace. You still in the back of your head are always thinking that it's still Colombia. So you have to be on guard. When it comes to food, Thailand is a clear winner in this. Thai food is world renowned for how good it is. And it is very diverse. It's a lot of curries, rice, soups, noodles, you know, typical Asian food, but made in a bunch of different ways. Colombian food is really diverse. Like the coastal food is different than the paisa food is different from the food from Bogota. After spending time there, I learned to really like it because the thing about Colombia is that the ingredients are so rich, the meat, the vegetables, the produce, everything is so natural and rich, but there's not a lot of taste in a lot of things. And I would just say Asian food in general is just the most diverse and the best in the world. So let's talk about cost of living. I may make a future video going really deep into detail about this. For the moment, it's actually around the same, just in different things. The thing about Colombia, rent prices are going up drastically, especially in a place like Medellin. The cost of living is not what it once was. Plus the instability of the peso, because when I first arrived, it was like 3,300 to a dollar and it got up to almost five and now it's back to four thousand to a dollar on top of inflation colombia is definitely a lot more expensive than it was three years ago whereas thailand is a lot more stable so if you look over the last like 10 years of thailand at the currency exchange it's been pretty much the same highest maybe 38 lowest maybe 32 it's been like that for years i would say that in colombia rent seems to be a little more expensive but groceries are cheaper but here in thailand rent is cheaper food is pretty cheap as well but everything else like activities ubers or motos they're around the same price right now but for me like with the safety and everything if i'm going to be paying a low price for things thailand is the winner here but if you're just looking at pure cost i would say that thailand and colombia right now are pretty much around the same. Okay, so let's talk about infrastructure for a bit. So something that I've missed drinking water from the tap. I think that's really huge. Actually, it's a very underrated thing. There's no real drinkable tap water here in Thailand. But in Colombia, Medellin, you can drink from the tap. I often did. And Manizales, the tap water was phenomenal. And I missed that a lot. When it comes to the roads and the freeways and traffic and stuff, the thing about Colombia is that it's such a mixed bag because you'll go to a city where the infrastructure will be pretty good. You'll drive 30 minutes and then and it's like non-existent infrastructure. The roads are all terrible, poorly managed. Here in Bangkok, from what I've seen, the infrastructure is pretty good. The public transportation is pretty good, but the traffic is pretty horrendous. I thought public transportation in Colombia was pretty fantastic, actually, especially in a place like Medellin with the metro and everything. Chiang Mai doesn't really have that, but moto taxis are so cheap, so you can get around anywhere with that. So as far as infrastructure goes, I don't think there is a clear winner in this regard. I actually think it's a tie. Let's talk about digital nomad community. I would say in this regard, Colombia wins. Medellin right now is like one of the biggest digital nomad hubs in the world. When you go there, it's very easy to find community compared to some of the other places in the world. In Thailand, it's not super, super developed yet. I have heard some meetups here in Chiang Mai and Bangkok, but I still think that in this regard, Colombia definitely wins. So let's talk about bureaucracy and organization. And I think in this regard, Thailand definitely wins. Went to renew my travel visa. It took me about five hours to do it, but it felt like a very organized and streamlined process compared to trying to do things in Colombia. The bureaucracy is terrible. If you go to two different immigration offices and you go to the immigration office at the airport, they're all going to tell you different things. Every level is different. Every office does things differently. And it's really up to the person handling your case instead of a 
strict rule or guideline for everybody. That was a big frustration that I had in Colombia. From what I've heard, trying to open a business or buy real estate in Thailand is much, much easier than it is in Colombia. So Thailand definitely wins in this regard. So let's talk about location. Colombia definitely wins this one. Colombia is located kind of in the middle of North and South America. So if you want to travel through South America, Colombia is a good hub to do it, but it's only like four or five hours back to the US. Colombia is very well located and then the time zones are the same as the US. If you do a lot of business in the US, coming here to Thailand, you know, I've been going to bed at one, two, three in the morning because if I want to do a consultation or talk to my friends, that's the time that works for them. However, the good thing about Thailand though is that once you're on this side of the world, trying to go to a different Asian country, trying to go to Europe, the Middle East, it's a lot easier and tickets aren't as expensive. I think in this regard for most people who are digital nomads, Colombia definitely wins. So let's talk about things to do. I actually think that Colombia wins in this regard. One of the things that I loved about Colombia is that it was so rich in biodiversity. So I lived in Manizales in the mountains. You can go to Medellin, which is the city of Eternal Spring, which is in a valley. You can go to the desert. You can go to the Amazon. You can go to a rainforest. You can go to the beach, right? Colombia has everything that you want. Whereas in Thailand, you have the big cities. The main tourist spots in Thailand are really like the beaches. I think the beaches and the islands are amazing, but compared to a place like Colombia, I feel like there's a lot less to do here in Thailand. Also, one of the strengths of Colombia is that they have a bunch of different areas, but the weather is different in all of these places. I love the Manizales because it was colder and it was in the mountains. The weather in Medellin is perfect all the time. If you go to the coast towards the beach, it gets really hot and humid. But if you go to Bogota, the capital city, it becomes cold and windy. In Thailand, it's pretty much just like hot and humid with different locations. Some places are hotter than others, but for the most part, it's kind of the same throughout the whole entire country. Okay, so let's talk about dating and women. I only have real experience dating Colombian women because my time here in Thailand, I was talking to an Israeli girl. I have friends who have dated Thai women and they've told me their experiences. I think Colombia wins just because the women are so beautiful, but with that beauty comes a lot more issues and problems. With Colombia women, they are terribly unpunctual people. They are notorious for being very flaky. I would say that they're more beautiful, but they are also more toxic. It's very wide known. You can talk to any Latino and they will tell you the toxicity of Latin women are unmatched, but they are so hot that a lot of times we just kind of put up with it. I think that Spanish is a much easier language to learn as well. Colombia specifically has a ridiculously high single motherhood crisis. 85%, I believe, are born to single moms. That has trickled down over a couple of generations now. So you're going to see a lot of women who can't trust their men and a lot of single moms who are dating foreigners just for the green card and looking for money and stability. Colombians are also notorious for cheating, men and women. I have also heard that it is common here in Thailand, but I think Colombia is more notorious for that. Druggings and kidnappings and killings in Colombia, specifically Medellin and Cartagena, are rampant right now. Whereas you will never hear of something like that happening here in Thailand. The worst that will happen here in Thailand is that maybe she's only dating you for money. But in Colombia, you have that plus the possibility of getting scopolamine, plus the possibility of getting held at ransom and kidnapping and all of those things, right? So it's a lot more dangerous. However, Colombians are just really good in bed and you're probably gonna have the best sex of your life in Colombia. <laughs> I'm, I'm just be honest about it. Here in Thailand, it's a less accessible language. I feel like the women here are beautiful if it's your type, but I think that Colombian women are just some of the most beautiful in the world. Unfortunately, here in Thailand, most of the best looking women are working girls. If you go to a place like Pattaya, you're gonna see a lot of attractive women everywhere, but if they're working girls or freelancers, that's not personally what I'm looking for in a relationship. I also hear that STDs are very, very common here in Thailand, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I also hear that in Thailand, they're pretty open to sex. Thai women, from what I hear, have a lot better values and are a little more traditional what foreigners are looking for in like a trad wife compared to a place like Colombia. In Colombia, yes, they'll take care of the house and stuff, but women in Colombia are so empowered and are very feminist because of the single motherhood movement that a lot of times they're very argumentative and a little more disagreeable. And I feel like Thai women are just a little more go with the flow and a little more chill because that's just how the country and the, the culture is. I would personally probably give it to Colombia just because the beauty is ridiculously unmatched. I think it can go either way. Okay, so let's talk about stability for a bit. So this is a really important one that I think a lot of people don't take into account. I have to say from the stability aspect, we're not entirely sure what's going to happen in the future. Just look how much the currency has fluctuated over the last few years. When Latin people protest, they hella protest. So talk about vandalism, violence, the streets get super, super intense. So you got to keep those things in mind. Thailand is a monarchy. And when it comes to the 
political scene and everything else, it's much, much more stable than a place like Colombia. There's no risk of political turmoil, at least in the moment, compared to a place like Colombia, where I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen in the future. And I'm just being 100% honest. So when it comes to stability of the country, Thailand definitely wins. Here are the pros and cons of each place. When it comes to Colombia, they have great people, a fun culture, and the most beautiful women in the world. The quality of the food is very, very good. So it's very easy to eat healthily in Colombia. And it's still very affordable compared to many places in the world. There are a lot of things to do in Colombia. It has a rich party scene. There's a booming expat community. So if you go there, you don't really have to speak Spanish. You'll be able to find people to help you access to the us is really really awesome and if you do take the time to learn the culture and learn spanish it's a much more useful language and i'm speaking from personal experience compared to a language like thai where you can only really use that in thailand however some of the cons are number one safety not having to worry about getting robbed or having that peace of mind just drastically helps your mental health. I would say stability is a con for Colombia because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. I would say that it is a very close culture relatively. You know, there's a lot of foreigners coming in, but Colombia is still very nationalistic. And I think it's very hard to find honest people to do business with. Colombians are notorious for being bad business people, dishonest. And I've worked with some good ones here and there, but I've definitely been burned a lot of times. And I think that happens less so here in Thailand. In Thailand, a lot of people do speak English here, so you can get by. But in Colombia, especially in the smaller cities, nobody really speaks English yet. Food is pretty average. I would say a lot of the country is still fairly underdeveloped. The bureaucracy and disorganization is a pain in the butt to deal with. Compared to Thailand, where you have some of the best food in the world, it is extremely safe here. There are great beaches. It's easy to travel to Europe or to Asia. Great, friendly people. Very cheap cost of living marijuana is legal here many people speak english but some of the cons are it is still fairly underdeveloped if you're coming from the u.s the time zone thing is a huge difference and it's pretty far to get out here like it's hard to get back to the u.s i feel like it's a lot harder to make friends here in thailand because thai people kind of stay to themselves for the most part. And I feel like Thai is not a very useful language compared to some other languages. But there are so many things about Colombia that I personally miss, specifically like the openness of the people, dancing, obviously the how beautiful the women are. Being an Asian person, I have to say that Thailand does feel more natural and better for me personally compared to a place like Colombia. But we're going to have to see, right? I'm going to be traveling more through Asia and then I, maybe I'll change my mind after a year or so. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.